In this video, we are going to talk about the ISO 14001-2015 standard and the revision from the 2004 version to the 2015 version. ISO 14001 is one of the popular and effective environment management system standards which specifies the requirements for the formulation and maintenance of an EMS to control your environmental aspects, reduce impacts, and ensure legal compliance. The new standard ISO 14001-2015 is based on Annex SL, the new high-level structure or HLS that brings a common framework to all management system standards. The overall goal of this revision is to help companies improve their environmental performance and to reduce the burden of management system documentation in the pursuit of more environmentally sustainable practices. This is accomplished by prescribing an operational framework to protect the environment throughout every level of a company's operations and introduces methods to respond to changing environmental conditions driven by societal and economic needs. The key changes in the new ISO 14001-2015 standard are the emphasis on context, interested parties, and leadership. The focus on risk management. Emphasis on objectives, measurement, and change. Communication and awareness. Fewer prescriptive requirements. Increased focus on life cycle perspective. Organization context. The new standard expects you to understand the organization's context before establishing its EMS. The environment, work culture, external issues, and corresponding impact that affect the organization, purpose, and interested parties are all examples of things you might need to consider before developing an acceptable EMS. Total responsibility for the EMS is lifted from management representatives and shared throughout the organization with top management maintaining accountability. Life cycle perspective and risk-based thinking. The entire planning process in environmental management has been restructured and takes the positive and negative environmental impacts of activities, products, and services into account more strongly from a life cycle perspective. Although the environmental assessment does not need to explicitly include a life cycle assessment of products and processes, for example, it should nevertheless examine the significant environmental aspects and all required commitments, legal, customer specific, etc., as well as any risks associated with possible hazards and opportunities. Preventative action has been replaced by risk based thinking. Documented information. The new ISO 14001-2015 standard has merged documents and records into documented information. Documented information refers to information that must be controlled and maintained within their supporting medium. While the previous terms have been eliminated, two new terms have taken their place, retain and maintain. Environment Manual is not a mandatory document along with 14 mandatory procedures from ISO 14001-2004 version. The revision no longer requires certified organizations to maintain an Environment Manual. Be aware, however, that the documentation requirement is still part of the standard. It is still necessary to document, maintain, and preserve relevant information. An environment manual therefore remains one possibility for fulfilling this requirement, albeit not the sole solution. Organizations must now identify, acquire, and share knowledge. Operation Operational scheduling and control pays closer attention to upstream and downstream and, in particular, outsourced processes. This also includes the environmental impacts of products and services right through to the end of their utilization. Operations consistent with a life cycle perspective, the consideration of the value chain that impacts the environmental management system and the control of the changes and outsourced processes. It is also more prescriptive in relation to emergency preparedness and response. Improvement the correction of nonconformities as well as the continual improvement process will now be focusing more on the organization's surroundings and the improvement of environmental performance. 
There is no specific requirement for identification of preventative action, as prevention is the task of the management system in its entirety, as opposed to a specific subsection of it. Conclusion The management focus is vital for any system to survive and will be reinforced by making environment a responsibility of all rather than the sole responsibility of a management representative. The new standard will ensure ISO 14001 EMS seamlessly integrates with other management systems for sustainable benefits. Contact us at info at loxia.com or visit www.loxia.com to upgrade from ISO 14001-2004 to ISO 14001-2015 or implement ISO 14001-2015 from scratch.